Hi guys, it's Ruby. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do an updated packing video. A bunch of you guys were requesting me to make an updated one. I thought I would also combine it with some Amazon favorites. I've been getting a ton of Instagram DMs asking, where'd you get this bag? Where'd you get that jewelry case? Most of the time it's from Amazon. So I'm going to show all those products for you guys, as well as just do an updated packing video. This time we are actually checking a bag. By the way, totally forgot to mention, uh, new hair. I hope you guys like it. I've had that same hair color for like 12 years and I really wanted to change. This is actually a lot closer to my natural hair color and I'm really excited. So just so you all recognize me now. <laughs> okay, here's how this is gonna look when I'm done. I am gonna pull everything out and kind of talk to you guys about what I have in here, but it's very nice and neat. We love to see that. The first thing that I'm gonna mention for you guys, obviously, are these packing cubes. I did mention them in my last packing video. They are the cheapest ones I could find on Amazon, and I thought, okay, if they fall apart, they fall apart. These have held up so well. I mean, I stuffed these to the brim, and they still manage to stay nice. You will notice if you do get these, I do sometimes feel like there's little threads that come off, but it's not like unraveling or anything. There's just like these weird little threads. They come in a ton of colors, so everything that's from Amazon, I will have linked down below. So this largest packing cube is my day-to-day -day outfits. We are going in May. In May, you can expect 90s to 100 degrees, and at night, it doesn't get any lower than like the mid-60s, so you're really not gonna get cold, which means that I basically just packed a bunch of shorts and like one pair of leggings. I am wearing a pair of sweatpants on the plane, but otherwise, mainly we're looking at shorts, dresses, tops. Very easy, very warm, and light. All right, I just thought I would put a couple of examples of my outfits out for some of you guys that are looking for a little bit of outfit inspiration. Jean shorts are always good for this time of year. Tie-dye is actually really in right now, so I'm definitely playing into that. I get a lot of my clothes from Target and Shein and H&M if you're wondering where I get stuff like this. Um, I'm not going to show you all my clothes. Obviously, I'm doing a nine-day trip on this trip, which is why I'm checking my bag. That is a really, really long trip, and I know most people are not gonna do nine days in Vegas. One thing to keep in mind, though, is always have maybe one or two extra outfits. If you're like me and you plan all your outfits out, you might think, I have each outfit for each day. You'd be surprised at how often you wanna change when you're on vacation. You're just wearing the same outfit all day, and you're like, oh, I'd like to put on a new outfit. So have a backup. More socks than anyone should ever have. This is an alarming amount of socks. I'm telling you, last time we were there, I did have to go to H&M and buy socks, which is another tip. You can always buy stuff at H&M. There's one in the Miracle Mile shops, and there's one in Caesars Palace. So if you don't have something, you can get it there. Okay. The smaller pouches. This one is my going out dresses, and this one is for my swimsuits. Going out outfits, my top recommendation for you is to have one extra going out outfit. If you made reservations and you're like, okay, we're gonna have like two nice dinners on our trip and we're gonna go out to nice bars on those days, pack a third dress just in case. Or if you're really smart, you can pack like a little black dress, which you could style differently and then you could wear it twice. Gentlemen, in my last packing video I mentioned I really think you should pack a suit or a suit adjacent, like nice dress pants, dress shoes, and some sort of collared shirt. Some restaurants are jacket preferred, meaning they really want you in a sport jacket. Make sure when you book reservations for restaurants that you check and see what the dress code is. Nightclubs, you don't necessarily have to wear a full suit, but think suit-like. I know like designer jeans, nice tops like that, those things are fine. Ladies, obviously, you're just going to want to dress cute, wear nice dresses. I've got like four or five, let's see, one, two, three, four, five dresses in this bag right now. Okay, for going out outfits, a couple of examples for you guys. Kind of hard to see with them not on, but this is just a little slip dress from Shein. We have a sparkly dress from Windsor, and then a little baby doll here from Nasty Gal for someone who wants something more for dinner instead of like a going out type dress. And then I also have my swimsuits here. I get a lot of questions about my swimwear. If you're wondering where a swimsuit's from, odds are it's from Shein, but I also shop at Aerie a lot and Target for my swimsuits. So that's primarily where my swimsuits come from. But pack your cutest ones, and I will say, try to imagine that like you don't wanna put on a soggy swimsuit. I know 
like Mr. Ruby brings like one pair of wet swim trunks and just keeps putting them on, but I don't like to do that. So I recommend packing at least like three swimsuits if you're gonna be there for four or five days, you know, kind of go from there. So that is all my swimsuits. So that's basically my suggestions for clothes. You just wanna have a little more than you think you need. Nine days, obviously I have like an exorbitant amount of clothes here. But typically a trip, you know, if you're gonna stay for four days, just pack as if you're gonna be there for like six. That's my suggestion to you. Other clothes and stuff. So in this bag up here, up in the zipper pocket, I actually have my bags, which I'll go over. This is just another laundry pouch, which right now just has a bra in it and nothing else. We actually use this to put dirty socks and underwear in while we're on our trip, just to keep them like quarantined from the clean clothes. And it works really, really well for us to just keep all the dirty stuff in here so that none of that's touching your clean clothes. It's a really good tip. And I've got my flip-flops. I forgot these last trip. Those are for the pool. But this bag, the hero of last trip, where I got DMs, like you wouldn't believe after we went live saying, where did you get that bag? This is actually a suggestion from my friend Karina. Hi Karina, if you're watching this. And this is from Amazon. It is a crossbody, it is a backpack, and it is like a little shoulder bag all in one. It's huge, it holds so much stuff. I actually was able to hold a lot of camera equipment in this bag when we got this. It comes in like a billion colors and I think this was like 20 bucks. It was really not bad. The straps are adjustable. I like that if I need to get in and out of the bag, I can do this. Um, if my shoulders are starting to hurt and I don't want to wear it as a backpack anymore, I can do this and it's like a crossbody. You can wear this bag a hundred different ways. It does have this little side pocket here that I put my phone in, so that's really easy to reach. Really nice bag. I highly recommend that one. I'm really tempted to buy that in a lighter color too. Really nice. The other little backpack I have here is from Target. This one's like that waterproof material. This is my little like junky one that I take to the pool. We just put our room key in here and suntan lotion and that's it. And I'm only packing one nice bag and it's a neutral because it's a metallic and that is the only bag I'm, back I'm packing for nights out and nice dinners. That way you have a variety. So I have my day bag, my night bag, pool bag. Okay, I'll get back to my liquids and everything, but let me show you guys what's in the other side here. This luggage we got for Christmas, so I'm sorry, I don't know where my luggage is from actually, but on this side I've got a ton of stuff. My shoes primarily, my hat, which somebody asked me where I got this. My friend made me this, so I can't help you there guys, sorry. My friend made that hat for me. Let's talk about shoes. I feel like I try to stress to you guys to pack enough shoes and then I don't even follow my own advice on that. You need a lot of shoes and you need comfortable shoes. I'm telling you, you need at least two different pairs of comfortable shoes you can switch back and forth. I have like a pair of slip-ons that I'm gonna be wearing onto the plane. And then as far as evening shoes, you wanna have a good variety. I got these awesome boots. These were off Amazon and I'm sorry they don't sell them anymore so I can't link them for you. Boots are a great option because you can actually wear socks and you might be like, oh, I don't wanna wear socks and boots like in the middle of 100 degrees. Your feet will thank you. It feels wonderful. Otherwise, I've got a couple of like comfortable heels. I know that these are not like the cutest heels ever and you might wanna wear like your nicest pair of high heels. Just consider how far you have to walk just from your room to the elevator, down to the casino, and then out the door. And you're not gonna wanna wear those really spiky, really uncomfortable heels. You will suffer. Just trust me. I highly recommend just packing your really comfortable, reliable heels. And they're still gonna look cute with your outfit, honestly. Um, even flats, if you're a flats person, don't be afraid to do flats. Okay, this is another really great Amazon favorite. It doesn't look like anything right now. This is a pool float, and I actually kept the box so that I can show you what this thing does, just for this video. But it's a float that has like a mesh bottom, so you can lounge in it, you can use it as a chair, you can kind of like float on it. Think about if you're gonna be doing any pool time and you just wanna float in the pool. Sometimes you don't wanna sit in the lounge chair, especially when it's really, really hot. These pool floats are amazing because it's really easy to blow up because it's only these two little things that get blown up, so you don't need an air pump for it. And they're super packable. It like, just lays totally flat. I can throw it in here, bring it along. I've taken this thing on several of my trips. I brought it for my Arizona trip. That was the first time I used this. I was obsessed. I'm definitely bringing it because I know there's some pool time in our future here. So now we're gonna get into like liquids, makeup, that kind of stuff. Obviously because I'm doing a checked bag now, I don't have to worry about my liquids. If you go back and watch the other packing video, I talk about how to do a carry-on version where you don't bring as much liquids with you. That being said, I kind of have a lot going on here. I have these two. 
which are my liquids. And I will quickly kind of show you guys what's in here. I do love travel size stuff. I like to wait until Ulta is doing a free sample giveaway where if you spend a certain amount, you get free samples. And that is how I do that. I also always buy those little mini perfume boxes in December when they give those away as like trial sizes and keep the little mini perfumes to bring with me on trips. So that's why I have the little mini perfumes. This is a really good product too that I recommend is the Dawny Wrinkle Eraser. It also smells nice, so it kind of refreshes your clothes. You can lay out a top or something and just lay it smooth and it will uh, get all the wrinkles out. I got that at Target or Walgreens, I think. I always bring a Tide pen. Otherwise, I just have my skincare in here. I do have shampoo and conditioner, travel sizes. I have some body oil, which I really recommend if you're dry, toothpaste, just all the all the bells and whistles. And for this trip, obviously, we're there for a really, really long time, which is why I'm packing so much stuff. If you're only doing a couple days, your skin's not going to suffer too much. Your skin's not going to suffer too much from having a couple days where you don't do your skincare. But because I'm going for so long, we have to. This is another Amazon favorite, which is the Amavi straightener and curler so this came in this little container here which is like a heat resistant so if you put it on here you don't have to worry about it burning anything it is a curling iron when it's closed which is really nice and then it's a straightening iron and so i only have to bring this one product i usually use the really crappy hair dryers that they have in the hotels i just make it work but to be able to straighten or curl your hair with one thing is really nice it only has one heat setting and it does get really really hot so just be aware of that but it's a really good product i really recommend it in here first of all i packed a bunch more pedialyte i'm not messing around i did the really big pedialyte the 33 percent more electrolytes somebody asked me like why this is better than gatorade this has like three times the amount of electrolytes as a gatorade so think like if you're really really dehydrated this is for you even if you're not a heavy drinker the desert's really dry i really recommend the powdered pedialyte and you can just dump it into a uh bottled water I have my dry cleaning cloths. These are Olay, actually, and they're dry, and then you wet them, and they take your makeup off. Those are really, really nice. That's the Olay brand. These are um, dryer sheets that are used, which seems like a really weird thing to pack, but if you get deodorant on your clothes, a used dryer sheet is, like, the best thing to take it off. You just, like, wipe it on, and it takes it off. Pro tip, I've got some actual fashion tape in here, and then the other one that it was empty, and I just put, like, bobby pins and... Little hair ties in there, hairbrush, deodorant, little mini one, our toothbrushes that I just take home and boil every time we come home from a trip and then I dry them out and repack them, Q-tips, a mini roller, floss placards, and some chafing guard for those who have thick thighs. And then I'm going to show you guys my little daily dose case. I got this at Ulta. And I like to put my pills in here. So ibuprofen, Advil. This is actually vitamin B. I'll show you. My Mr. Ruby wanted me to recommend these to you guys. This is a Super B Energy. He uses this while we're on our trips. He uses it every day, but on our trips especially. Helps to keep you energized. Helps to keep you like up and going and put those vitamins back in your body. So I recommend those. And then we also have like some heartburn pills in here, some allergy pills, just kind of like everything you might need. You do not want to buy medication in Vegas. It's really expensive. Even if you go to the Walgreens on the Strip, it's a little more expensive than it would be at home. So just try to pack ahead so that you don't have to do that. And let's see, for makeup, I will do this kind of quickly for you guys and just show you what I've got. Tati Beauty Palette, I recommended this on my last one. This is what I use when I go because it has glitter, it has shimmer, it has dark, it has light, it has everything you could ever need. Highly recommend that. This was the second most DM'd thing from me on Amazon. This is the best purchase I've bought this year, which is this holding brush holder that is actually a travel case. This is like a rubber so it doesn't get makeup all over it and it zips shut. And you can hold like a ton of brushes in here. I am obsessed with this thing. They sold out of the marble one. They don't have that one anymore when I just checked, but they do have like a pink and a black. This was like eight bucks too. Like it doesn't cost anything. It has little rubbers in here to hold these in place. I am obsessed with this thing. I cannot recommend it to you guys enough. And because we are doing a longer trip, I did pack a ton 
of makeup. I am not going to sit here and go through all of it. I did on my last one and you can go check that out. If you would like me to do like a separate like makeup for Vegas video, comment below and I'll do so. I don't know how many people are interested in like seeing just like full makeup videos for Vegas, but I'd be happy to do it. Um, just note that I'm kind of packing like a CC cream with sunscreen in it. But then I've also packed in here a stick foundation for evening because stick foundation is just a lot easier to travel with. Bunch of lipsticks. Um, another really good one I can recommend to you guys. This is the Ulta Beauty Sculpt and Glow because it's got bronzer, highlight, and blush all in one. So I don't have to pack anything else. It's not one of those big palettes, but it's like a nice condensed little palette. Um, the shade I have is Santorini Sun. This is really nice. I've been using this a little bit at home and I'm really excited to travel with that. Basically, I've got a ton of stuff in here and... Like I said, I can go over that in more detail if you guys want to see that in another video. So that is everything I'm packing. Let me go over my carry-on bag for you guys just to show you that when I pack a packed bag like that, I try to keep my carry-on to basically nothing and make it really lightweight. But I do put a couple things in here. One of these is an Amazon favorite that I'm going to show you guys, which is my Vlando Jewelry Organizer. This is a small one. They do make larger ones, but I love this because I can put my like jewelry that I don't want to put in my bag safely in my uh, carry-on here, and it's really neatly organized. We have little clasps here for our necklaces. This is for rings, but I have some hoop earrings on here. Earrings go here, and then there's even a big one here to put more stuff like bracelets and things that don't fit neatly here. I've got a pair, really cute pair of earrings from, ooh, these are also from Amazon. I can link these. These are really cute. But basically this just keeps everything organized, keeps it safe. I've used this a lot on trips. If you have a lot of jewelry or like really chunky jewelry, this might be too small for you. But for the couple little items that I bring, it's perfect. So I keep that in my carry-on. I don't like to check my jewelry in case it goes missing. It's not that they're expensive, they're just meaningful to me. Uh, I have a couple of sunglasses. These ones are from Amazon, these black ones. And then another pair. I pack my iPad. I put books on there if I want to read on the plane. A pair of blue light glasses. I wear these a lot when we're traveling because they keep my eyes from getting exhausted from all the blue light from the phones and the iPad and whatnot. I bring my own beef jerky because if you buy it in the airport, it's going to cost you like $8, but it's a perfect snack if you're on the plane and your blood sugar's dropping. It's got some protein in it for you. And then just my wallet and these Purell wipes. I don't actually like putting hand sanitizer in my carry-on because I've had it explode before from the pressure. Keep that in mind. The things that are not here, we write a to-do list when we are going to leave of the things that we can't forget when we wake up in the morning to leave for our trip. And it usually includes like your phone charger, phone, uh, headphones, things that aren't already in my bag that we can double check that we have, put them in here and we're good to go. So maybe write yourself a little to-do list before you leave on a trip so you remember. Headphones are one of the most commonly forgotten ones, so make sure you do that. So that was my packing video. I hope it was pretty succinct. There was a lot to go through and I didn't want to go through like all of my outfits or all of my makeup or anything, but I hope you enjoyed this one. If you're new and you're not a subscriber, I'm going to be leaving for Vegas in just a couple days. We're going to be going live. We're going to be doing a ton of great videos. So subscribe if you're not already and I hope to see you guys there.